have a church here. It's probably Catholic. Looks a bit sober. Like uh, that guy told me the most beautiful churches are not really in Warsaw. Because these were all reconstructed. You need to go to, for example, Krakow for that. Or uh, Wrocław, but not really here. Anyway, Poland is really colorful. Even in autumn, just uh, makes me think of Sweden a bit. It's probably no coincidence because it's quite close. But like the colorful buildings, this peacefulness. There's a lot of space everywhere, few people. I enjoy it. Courtyard of the church. I have so much time to explore right now. Oh, cool. What a nice place with a view. I think it's time for coffee. I really enjoy the McDonald's coffee, cappuccino for five zlotys, which is one euro. It's quite affordable, I would say. Yeah, it's so nice here. Look at this. Take a cool picture with the flowers in the sun. I use the other phone for my pics now. I love that Warsaw is uh, pretty polished up, like the infrastructure and everything, but still it shows it's wear and tear. It shows that it has history. Definitely. It's a religious country with deep roots, very strong, and uh, look at how beautiful it is, like an independent nation. That's why I bought the Polska hat, I like Poland, I like how Poland is doing, it is doing their thing no matter what. Like who am I to judge or say anything? Poland is Poland and it's always like they've been through some rough stuff. What can we say? Nothing. Is this open? I love this with all the colors. Yeah, I recommend you visit Poland and just come chill out for, for a month at least. Take trains, have some beers. Like it's, it's cheap. I think honestly it's more affordable than Bulgaria, which I was surprised with because I was here seven years ago in Poland. But prices basically remain the same. Like Bulgaria's prices go up. But here also salaries went up and prices stay the same. Like you can have your pizzas for uh, two, three euros. And that's in central locations. Like not in the old town. But in Bulgaria, cappuccino for a euro, for one euro, that's basically gone these times. Unfortunately. There's nothing here. I'm back. Oh, look at all the colors. But yeah, one euro for cappuccino, that's uh, 
Time that slowly, slowly gone. I wish it wasn't the case, but Poland's as affordable as can be. And it's still kind of adventurous. It has some like it's like you're in the Western Europe, like anywhere, Germany, Prague. But it has something more to it. Still, it is different. In its own way. Poland cannot really be compared. Poland is Poland. So there's people who say, oh, it's like Germany. No, it's not. No, it's not. In some regards, they're doing as well. But it's hard to uh, to compare these cultural identities. Although Poland is modernizing and Warsaw is not too different from any modern city, the country has many contrasts within it. this oh, pretty picture in summer when the streets are full this is obviously awesome but now with the sun and some imagination it's not too bad either certainly this is more beautiful than Sofia they've invested so much probably Germany paid a ton in in funds to Ah, this is the Jewish ghetto wall here. Yeah. Here's where the Jewish ghetto started. Right. Like that's all been destroyed as well. Nothing's left. But this was the Jewish ghetto. Here, incredible suffering happened immense suffering it's like there's not a trace of it is left as time moves on absolutely nothing and in the Jewish ghetto which is just a few streets wide like uh, I don't know how many square kilometers but it's small relatively obviously these buildings were not there everything was completely bombed but there were 450,000 Jews living in a very small surface in this here like here's where people died in the streets of hunger of terror of fear cold whatnot right here as we walk and uh, the change has been so tremendous like nothing is left there's a zhabka like which is frog I think store where they sell hot dogs like no Jew who suffered here could have thought that it's just so wiped away right now. Obviously there's a museum, memorials and stuff, but this has just been... I don't know. Nothing's left to be seen. Times have changed and that's a good thing. This was a Jewish ghetto. I expected more old buildings, but obviously it's been bombed. But it's nice that they still mark the the walls because it shows a bit of uh, the boundaries. Anyway, 